What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming bringing you another awesome video. Today we are playing the Lord of the Rings Rise to War and I am working with my new setup here, my new mic setup. So uh, I have moved positions and adjusted settings. Hopefully it sounds beautiful. Now, in today's video we are talking about the end of day three. Day three just ended recently. I just woke up, right? Day three is now over and I wanted to give you guys a progress update of where I am at, okay? So let's start with buildings because that's always a big question. Where are you at, Randy, right? Uh, building wise, I'm at main hall level eight. Okay, I have military academy level seven. All right, which means I have plus 16 additional command and having the level eight main hall allows me to unlock the next set of tier three units. So I have tier three dragoons unlocked. So now I have tier three halberdiers and tier three dragoons. My eastern quarters is, is level eight and uh, very soon I'm currently working on saving resources in order to upgrade my breaker layer and get alchemists. Okay, alchemists are the next big thing for me. So later today, I'd say in the next two or three hours, I'll have alchemists unlocked and we'll be moving on from there. Uh, obviously, I've really, really focused on getting high resource income. I have not been focusing as hard as usual on commander levels, uh, although my witch king is level 35. Yusra is level 29, Ganon the Grey is 28, and Black Serpent is 27. Um, I did take, you know, five or six 200 power tiles yesterday, and I decided timeout, costing too many troops, costing too much resources to capture those. I have what I need. I have wood, um, I have ore, and I have stone 200s. Stop the 200s until I get alchemists. So. I've now put the brakes on for the alchemists uh, uh, in order to wait for the alchemists. That way I'm not using huge amounts of resources to try and train these tier two troops, my uh, my sappers, and spam out halberdiers because I do take heavy losses on these 200 power tiles uh, using tier two sappers. So let's wait. Let's get the tier three alchemists. Let's get main hall eight, which I now have. Let's get military academy leveled up. I'm Pieces are moving online. I think by the end of the day today or beginning of the day tomorrow, I'll start really kicking the 200 power tile farming into gear with the Witch King, okay? Um, the next big thing I'm working on after I get Alchemists is I'll get the Main Hall 9. Okay, that's key. Get Main Hall 9, get the Mil Military Academy upgraded again. And then I'm going to focus on getting Morgul, Arbalest, and Crushers. Um, and I'm going to basically be setting up a nice march with Sun End, who I am currently leveling up. Now, the nice thing about farming sweeping mobs, okay, uh, when you get to these level 25 mobs, even the level 20 mobs, the 20s and 25s give good experience tips. So I've killed about 10 of these halberdiers this morning. I've already gotten two quests. Previously, I've gotten about two of these quests yesterday. These are great EXP. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put my Witch King through these and try and get him to level 36 today, or if I'm going to get Sun End. I've been leveling Sun End up using just Tavern Tips, so maybe I'll get her up with these 240s. I don't know. I'm still I'm still probably about three days away from using her. Maybe I won't do that yet. Maybe I'll just level. I'm really thinking this through as I talk to you. I'm going to end up, what I'm going to end up doing, guys, is throwing the Witch King through, getting him to 36, because he's almost there, right? He's halfway. I can get him to 36 with those two tavern tips and then whatever the other farming I do today, I'll have him at 36 in the next probably two hours, okay? Uh, so that's my main plan. Get main hall nine, get the alchemists um, right now before I get to main hall nine, get my uh, Morgul Arbales unlocked for Sun End and then in about three days make Sun End, you know, one of my key PVPers. Um, I, I wasn't originally going to use her. I was debating using her in my early season video or preseason videos. It was kind of, you know, yes or no, yes or no. And I've decided that I've seen enough strong tier three builds with her, enough R3 builds with her, sorry, that uh, I've enjoyed looking at reports on that I am going to go uh, Arbalest, Great Beast, Panther Leader build and just watch the damage, you know, just come. So that's exciting. Uh, Black Serpent has really been performing extremely well for me. I'm extremely happy with how he's been doing. Check this out. 
He's been smoking these mobs like nobody's business. There's, it's it's really fantastic. Um, I've always loved Black Serpent. You know, I used him as my primary PvP or back in season three or four. I forget which one. He was my number one PvP or back then. Um, I'm gonna bring him back for sure in 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 big. In, in a big way this season. I'm really, really excited for what he has to offer. And, and, you know, in the way that he performs on mixed servers with his high alert ability, he's just such such a crazy, versatile commander. So you can look forward to seeing me running Mama Kill, uh, run chariot marches on this guy. It's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be disgusting with a gigantic hammer. It's not, low, it's not refined, right? But at least it's a five star. So I, I get plus 90 attack. Uh, the chariots and the mama kills are going to be absolutely devastating with this. All right, guys, that is the video for me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this day three season six update. Hopefully the volume sounds okay and the audio sounds beautiful and crisp because this is a new setup for me. If you have any suggestions on the volume or uh, uh, audio, feel free to drop them in the comments. Okay, I love you a long time. Randy out.